guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. I love these things, man. So I've got a huge inflatable movie screen that I love to play movies on. And now they have taken the same technology that made that dream come true and shrunk it down to something that's called a mini projector. This is the Fat Arc DL42 mini projector, and I'm going to check it out with you today. We'll plug it in, put some non-copyrighted stuff on, <laughs> and check out to make sure that it works well. Look at how tiny this is. Isn't that awesome? So the box here just contains the essentials. And uh, I don't know if I can get it open here. Let me get this open. There we go. Power supply. And on this side, some cabling. Cool. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. So it comes with a quick start guide here, the DO42. 24-7 live support, it says. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. This is a nice full-color trifold here. So we do have the ability to go in with HDMI. We can play videos directly off of USB. Then we have earphone in or um, out, I mean, and speaker out as well, plus a DC plug. Oh, wow. So it will also play with, uh, you can cast with this, which I don't really mess with that stuff, but... It certainly can be done, is what it's saying here. iOS device screen mirroring, wireless connection to Android, and projector and computer Wi-Fi connection. So pretty darn cool. And here is the full user's manual, and it is 22 pages in English, and there's a lot going on there. But I'll bet, I'll bet we don't even need to look at that. What we do need to look at is this, because this thing's pretty nifty looking. If I can get it out of the little container, they've got it set up for safe travels there we go wow look at this holy cow boy is that compact look at that thing and so instead of you know a 18 or 24 foot screen this is designed to mimic the size of a big screen tv like a 100 inch tv set which is pretty darn cool if you think about it on the back here hdmi input power and usb inputs on this side here, power on and off and our speaker out or earphone out. And on this side, you do have some uh, adjustments for the focus. And on the front, of course, the actual screen. Up on top, a bunch of push buttons. So we have return, menu, up, down, enter. You can see that there. So a lot going on there. It does look like it has a small fan or ventilation down at the bottom here. We'll figure that out as well. And so what is got? I love it. Check this out. Ta-da! So we have this little tripod for it, which is a really good idea. You can thread this thing in, and I'll get it all assembled here so you can see. So that way we can make adjustments. You know, one of the problems with these things, or with setting these things up, I should say, it's not really a problem with them, it's just part of the design, is that you have to get it just right. You can see how many movements here are a little too high, a little too low. You want it to be beautiful, or you get, I can't remember, I think it's called keying where the top of the screen might be a little uh, more narrow than the bottom of the screen, so it gives a weird perspective. Well, they've taken care of that. Now, it also comes with a USB uh, uh, HDMI cord and a remote, and go ahead and get that remote out. No batteries for it, so hopefully I have some. I think I, I, think I do, so some batteries here. We'll get this thing going. And that's it, my friends. Uh, that's that's is all you need. So if you, you know, think about it for a college student, right? They're not going to have a 100-inch big screen TV project uh, on their wall, but they might be able to project one, right? Nice compact unit. You can take it to a friend's house to play video games on it. Whatever kids do these days, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll plug this thing in. I'm going to turn the lights off, and we're going to put it right up against the wall here. Now, this is a light gray, so it's not too far off from the kind of screen you would expect to see. And I'm looking forward to it, I think it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna get a USB stick, we're gonna plug it in so that we can watch some uh, copyright free stuff, okay? Let's do it. Okay, so there it is. I've got it, uh, well I think anyway from my eyeballs, it looks pretty darn good. We use the remote here, we've got setup. In projector mode, we want front projection, we do. We have ceiling and rear projection and rear ceiling projection, that's kind of cool. Well, we're going to leave it at that. Then we do have keystone correction, but for me, I mean, you can see it's absolutely perfect. We can change our aspect ratio around. We also have picture mode. 
We're going to stay with normal on this until we can do some stuff. We can change our brightness around. And then we do have language, upgrade, restore factory, and Wi-Fi. So there is some Wi-Fi uh, abilities there as well. We'll get out of settings. And of course, we can switch to HDMI. We can do screencasting with our phone. And then we do have text, photo, music, and movie. We're going to go into movie. I've got a USB hooked up to it. And we're going to go over to the folder that says free to air. And here we go. I've got a couple of videos, not much. The first thing I'll show you here, I'm so proud of my new work. You've already seen it once. It's this. That looks pretty nice, I gotta say. I love it. That's gotta be a 120 inch television screen right there. And I've got some other stuff. Looks like it auto plays on to the next. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today I'll, be I'll also say the onboard speaker seems plenty loud. I don't haven't adjusted the volume at all. On any 2001. Oh, that's wow! You can go way up. Volvo S70 V70 or V70 cross country. This is a V70 cross country, but like I said, underneath there is a set. Very cool. Very cool. Um, let's try one more. Wow, this is old, old, old. So this one is supported, but it's an old yes, video. Sir, owner of Farpoint Farms. Today, I'd like to talk to you about something that I do every day that I'm at work. Change the oil on cars, trucks, SUVs, you name it. So there you go. I am very impressed with this. I bet playing video games on this would be a treat. Um, not bad. And of course, you can show if you have a cell phone, you can swap over there to screencast. I don't have any way of screencasting, but you can see iOS cast and then uh, Windows even. Wow. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can do it. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't think I have any way of, I mean, I don't have a computer on, but you can see here you could project directly from a laptop, it looks like onto this which would be great if you were you know giving a presentation or whatnot man this thing is pretty awesome all in the size of like a little bit larger than a soda can very cool man very cool well i guess that'll do it i'll leave a link to where you can get one and i'm impressed i gotta be honest i love these things i this one being a smaller one i wasn't sure if it'd be bright enough but for a room like this heck yes it's plenty bright perfect till next time my friends take care